Hello friends, let's continue our European tour. So we've done Spain, uh, we've done Holland. Did we do France? I'll find a, a French machine. We've done the UK and today we're going to do Germany. <laughs> So what have I got for you? What have I got to show you from the, the wonderful fatherland? Um, well, it's not what you would expect, actually. Um, you probably think uh, always going to have a AEG or a Bosch or something like that. But no, I found a machine on um, eBay Germany and I thought, oh, that's nice. That looks interesting. Haven't seen one of those previously. So I bought it and had it shipped over. I think it, the total cost was, was about £59 with the shipping. So not too bad, really. Um, and that machine is the amazing oh, Rowenta RS210 Electronic. Now this is a really cool cleaner. This is from approximately, uh, I think about 1996 or so. And it actually has uh, on, on, on the base here, it's got uh, like one of those embossed date stamps and it says six, and it's pointing to two. So I'm probably, well, I'm gonna guess, judging by the style of it, it was probably manufactured f February 96. It kind of makes sense. Um, and I will show you why shortly. It's a really nice cleaner, I must say. It is really nice. They made these so well. Uh, really good quality, a proper German machine. Although, having said that, Rowenta is German, on the ratings plate, it says, made in Italy, <laughs> which is quite funny. So it says, it says on the plate, uh, Rowenta RS210A, 220 volts, 50 hertz, 1100 watts, made in Italy. Yeah, so it's an Italian German, okay. Still, nonetheless, um, it is a really nice cleaner. I do like it. I was kind of uh, skeptical about buying it. I was thinking to myself, or oh, is that actually going to be any good? Is it going to be worth the money? But yes, it was. So um, let's take a look at it. Pretty standard as vacuum cleaners go. We have uh, electronic power control here, which is uh, selected by this rotating dial. Quite a cool shape to this. It's like a almost like a peace sign. It's, it's kind of like got this bit down here and then this pointy bit you kind of think that maybe the pointy bit would be the bit that points to the power but no you've got this little red square um that points to the other squares the green squares this is absolutely an eco machine you can tell that by the fact that it's got this green writing on it and it has this uh, middle setting here the two squares is uh, economic um, so it goes soft economic and then power 1100 watts so, slightly odd way of naming it but there we go. Never mind. It's uh, it, Italian German. What do you expect? Then you have the filter assembly here, and then you have built in tools. Unfortunately, I didn't get any tools with the cleaner. And there is a slight fault with this flap. It doesn't really come up as far as it should do. It opens that far. And that's it. That's all you get. And you've got your bag full uh, indicator here. This is a, a piston style. So there's no electronics for this at all. It's just um, when the pressure of the um, airflow goes up, this turns red. Um, I'll just push that back down. And we have um, the power pedal here, um, flex rewind pedal here. It has a European plug on it, like so, one of those. So I have to use an adapter for it. But what is quite nice about the Euro plugs is that when you rewind the flex in, the plug actually goes into the recess. Most of the time, with the UK plug, they kind of stick out or poke out and you can't turn the machine up on, on its end, which is a real pain. So you've got two big wheels at the back and a swivel caster as well. And hose obviously goes in the top, it's a, sw it's a swivel top hose. Now you would kind of think that when you press the button to open the lid, you would expect it to, to do like a mealer and then like kind of open up like that, but it doesn't. When you press this, to release the lid, it actually completely comes away. So you have the lid that comes off like so. I'll show you what I've done with that top section in a minute. 
Then you have this huge bag holder. This is a huge piece of plastic here. This is massive. The um, bag that came with the cleaner was absolutely chocker. It was stuff solid. Um, I couldn't save it. And I certainly don't have any bags for this machine. In fact, I don't think I have any Rementa bags, actually. Uh, so, yeah, I had to come up with a little method of a attaching a bag, which I'll show you in a sec. And then you can unclip this. You may not be able to do it by hand. Oh, you can. Yeah. So that comes away like so. And you've got a microfilter here. I've made this out of a Henry bag. Um, and it's surprisingly effective. It hasn't been run very, very much, but you can see that it's catching the carbon dust, which is really great. Pop that back in there. Now, originally, there was um, a piece of black foam in this cage. And I think that's for like uh, some kind of sound deadening on it. Unfortunately, the foam had gone the way foam always goes when, when it's of any age, it, it turns solid. Um, and when I took it out and tried to clean it, it just kind of crumbled away and then got sucked into the, the bench back. So I just push this over here for a second. I'll show you what I've done. So here's the top section. Uh, I've done my usual trick of attaching a Henry bag to it. These bags are so incredibly useful. I use them in so many machines but you could just like push it onto the um, tube section here through there um, and it, it, it fits on perfectly. It stays there nicely. And of course it's a huge, huge dust bag as well. So you know, this would clean forever. I'm not sure how easy it would be to take it out when um, the bag is full because it probably gets stuck on that. But then again, having said that, the plastic would pull away and you'd just be left with the bag in the chamber. So to get it back in, you have to kind of gingerly put it through that cage and then push it down and it locks back in place and then there we go that's the lid back on so that's a, that's a little overview of the cleaner before we take it into the lounge to give it a go there's something else i just want to show you i have a couple of leaflets here this is a romenta leaflet uh possibly from 1989 because it says on the clock here 1989 of whatever appliance they're um, trying to depict there. Just have a look and see if there's any date on it. There might be. Uh, no, as per usual, no no date. Although it could be 91. Um, it, on the end here it says 00091. And if memory serves, I picked up this leaflet in France um, when I went there on holiday in 1992. So it could very, very well be the case. So it's just interesting to have a look through, and this is this is all in French. This is a, this is a French leaflet. Um, really wonderful um, appliances shown here. They've got all the lovely irons. The, the Rometa irons were outstanding. And then we go into the vacuum cleaner section. So we've got the um, sort of stick vac here. We've got a couple of wet and dry machines. Rometa always did a, a lot of those, and in fact. There we go. There it is. I just had a, th I just had a feeling. I had a feeling that this machine might be in here, and there it is, the RS two one zero. Now this is, yeah, mine is the RS two ten A electronic um, eleven hundred watts. So I suspect this is the Mark one. The one I've got is the Mark two, because this has a blue trim to it, and my one is green. So yeah, that's quite interesting. Um, if we look over here on this side, I know it's upside down for you, but these are the these are very similar to the machines that we had in the UK. And as far as I'm aware, we only ever had three Rowenta cleaners, uh, three cylinder Rowenta cleaners. There was RB01, RB02, and RB21, which was the Power Master, and that was the beautiful machine with the three switches on um, which lit up uh, red amber and green uh, they, they were they, they were wonderful cleaners um, I had one of those once and unfortunately now it's long gone it's a real shame um, back in 93 my uh, my best friend at the time was called Robert and I remember going around to his house for, for the first time and his mother had the Rowenta RB02 which was the equivalent to this one here it looked very similar to this, um, and it was uh, quite a standard machine. It just had a power on and off, and then a flex rewind. There was nothing special about it, but it's one of the very few that I've ever seen in my life. They they didn't sell many over here. 
Um, and in fact, I, I've, I've, I've got a feeling in my water that they stopped selling them in 1992. They were like 1985 to 1992, something like that. If anyone knows for sure, please, as per usual, as per usual, leave us a comment in the uh, comment section. Always good to to hear from you. Um, but yeah, that's that's my theory on that. Um, yeah, so it's really nice to see this actually. It's nice to see the um, RS two hundred and ten or the original RS two hundred and ten. It's interesting that it came with this style floor tool. Look at that. In fact, they've all got apart, apart from the basic RS one hundred. It's got like a Panasonic kind of floor tool there, actually. Uh, they had this style twin pedal tool. Now, my machine didn't come with that, and I'm going to show it to you now. Actually, no, I'm not. Just at this second, um, I've just turned the page on this book, and actually, there's this this machine here, the RS350, is the Power Master with the three um, electronic selection pedals. But also these higher models on, on this page have this style floor head. It's the gray style wheeled head. So bearing in mind, this is 91. So that's what these ones came with. The original RS210 came with this one. So now let's check out the floor tool that I got with my RS210A. Here's the floor tool that came with my cleaner. Um, it doesn't have any branding on it. And I wonder if maybe this was um, an aftermarket replacement to the one that originally came with it although I guess it's possible by the time 96 rolled around and they were selling these machines they didn't bother to put the branding on the floor heads anymore uh, unfortunately this tool is not in great condition because if we turn it over and take a look underneath and we look at the base plate or the sole plate whatever you want to call it this has had an awful lot of use in its life and you can see here that um, the metal is actually worn away on this seam and that's quite a rough edge there so it's completely gone there and actually you can see through it um, it's almost gone on this side there is a ridge there and it's going through there is a huge hole here and actually you can push the plate down you can actually bend it um, so there's a ridge there as well and it's completely gone along the whole line here on this side so, in summary, we cannot use this head uh, because when you run it on the carpet, it just makes this awful <laughs> noise um, and it just kind of feels like uh, you're going to ruin your carpet, really. So, this one is out. So, if this one is out, we need to find a replacement to use with our RS210. And I have found one. Um, it's not the most brilliant floor tool in the world. It's just this, hmm, it's quite cheap and nasty, uh, but it'd be certainly better than uh, rubbing bare metal edges acro across the carpet. It's kind of like a Henry style floor tool actually that comes with the new Henry machines. I've got one down there somewhere. Um, I would use the Henry head, but it's, uh, it's pretty much the same as this. It's the newer style, uh, cheaper one with the plastic base on it. Um, so yeah, we'll use this one, um, give it a go. It's grey, so it kind of, sort of, a little bit matches the RS210. Um, Tools-wise, I got the uh, two extension rods here with a dock on it as well, so it can dock to the machine. Two, two chrome rods and the original Roanta hose as well, which is quite a, like a really small bent end on it, it's really quite short, and you've got a slidey suction control there. And it's nice to see that it still has the red, the red catches on the hose as well. I remember these. I, I remember seeing them and going, "Oh, look, it's red! Oh, it's amazing!" Um, yeah. So there we go. So that's a, an overview of the cleaner. Um, let's now take it into the lounge, put it together, and give it a run. <laughs> 